Welcome everyone to the Planet Zoo console version and welcome to the build of a Formosan black bear habitat with a couple of little facilities around. I will just say at the very beginning, this is a bit of an unusual video. I will talk you through my experience of the console version in early access that I was granted the last seven, eight days. It was very helpful to understand a lot about the console version, the port, how good it is, how much you can expect. And I will provide you guys with a full on tutorial that is going to release tomorrow on Wednesday. I already did it, but I lost half of it due to my corrupted file. This was not the problem of the console. That was my stupidity because my hard drive ran full, but I just noticed while editing. And so there was no way around getting this uh, file back. And as this was a real time tutorial, I just have to redo it, um, which I will. And um, fortunately, uh, the second part is still alive. And this is what you're looking at right now, just sped up by a lot of times and added some cuts. So it's not uh, super annoying for you. However, I will talk you through its build and I can already tell you that this is a lot better than many many people may expect it to be. So first things out of the room, if you have played Planet, Cons uh, Planet Coaster on console already, you will have an absolute blast because this is basically as good just improved. I, I really like the fact that it even has some tools that I wish to have on the PC version and it makes me almost furious to not have this. Specifically the dial menu, the radial menu, but I'm gonna talk about this in the tutorial. It is absolutely amazing. Um, I will also do some short tutorials and short tips and stuff like that in which I'm going to showcase these things as well. So don't worry, there will be a lot of tutorials. If you are new to Plan Zoo and you just are about to pre-order the console version or you click the video on, on the release day, stay with me on this channel. There will be a lot of help and I also have so much inspiration for you guys on the channel already. That will be super helpful for you to understand what to do. Uh, another good news before we talk about this build in specific, another good news is that the um, complexity meter was very surprising how large it is. I, you know, the build I'm finishing off today, you'll see that in a little cinematic at the end, is only 2% of the complexity meter. And I already spammed a lot of pieces and stuff around. So uh, as you know me, I'm a, a detail obsessed builder. And so I started doing a lot of these things in here as well. As you can see, I even did some detailed build over here, um, you know, working with prefabs and so on. So that I actually did use quite a couple of pieces. And it turned out that the complexity meter was really not that big of a deal. And I feel like you can do some really proper big zoos. Um, but, it, you know, the question has to be asked how big you will go on a console anyways. Because as much of a praise I gave here at the beginning, we also have to stay realistic. You will be not as productive and as fast as on the computer version of this game. It is just impossible with the con uh, controller. However, if you have the chance to use your mouse and keyboard on the console, you will have an absolute ridiculous experience because then you will also have the beauty of this uh, wonderful radial menu and the computer and mouse uh, controls. So as soon as you turn your mouse and uh, keyboard into or plug it into your console, it'll change the mode to the mouse and uh, keyboard mode and will give you access obviously to a lot of these things and it's gonna be a lot more of a charm. The performance of the game was absolutely smooth. I had no hiccups, no issues, no whatsoever. Um, uh, it was really, really great. And I gotta say that, you know, if you play Planet Zoo on computer and I do have a quite, uh, chunky and and you know I've got a good computer and it still gets sometimes into a little bit of a hiccup and so if the complexity meter is going to be filled to 100% and it still remains this wonderful performance I will I will really take my hat off for Frontier because that then will be absolutely hilarious you know it's not like that the consoles are so powerful like they're barely more powerful than my computer is but you know the optimization for console obviously is a huge part of making a game run better or not you know and i you know i really think that this turned out super good but you can already tell from the screen that the procedure of building was really similar to what you would expect from you know a game that you have also uh, on PC and just in general like a builder game and my, many people do believe that a game like that should not be on console But I really disagree by now. I had the same Kind of thoughts before Planet Coaster released on console 
and I enjoyed the console version quite a bit. So yeah, I definitely think that this is doable on console. However, and this is part of the truth too, the way Frontier did it is super remarkable. In many ways, they they managed to have a good, on you know, like a a very intuitive way of doing things, even though it may actually be a little bit finicky here and there, specifically when it comes to using the advanced move tool, you have to be a bit more precise because you just don't have the mouse and, you know, these things just can be a little bit icky. And just a couple of little things, how to use the multi-select and there are a couple of tricks I will teach you guys how to be a lot more efficient and how to be a lot more quick in building in this game because there are ways of doing this and there are ways of becoming a lot better uh, builder in this game on console than you would be if you just follow the instructions of the game uh, because there are a couple of little tricks that translate from you know being a planet zoo player for almost uh, the entire time of the game ex the game's existence um, and also before that on planet coaster it'll help you by a couple of things you know doing these things different than you would normally do this without knowing these tri tricks and tips but yeah that's what i'm saying just keep keep your eyes on the channel there will be a tutorial and i'm gonna tell this already it's gonna be very long a very very long tutorial like potentially um, longer than you would have ever seen. Um, it's like three and a half hours at most, uh, at least. That's what I want to say. But you know, I have the same tutorial already on the on the channel uh, for the computer version, which you guys seem to love. Uh, it's it's marching towards the 100k views, which I still can't believe. But hey, you know, that's that's the will of the people. The people have spoken, and so I'm going to give you the same experience for console, obviously as well. Just in general, it was um, a lot more smooth than I was expecting it to be. Uh, honestly, it's been uh, it's been super nice. The installation and also you know everything getting into the game was super super nice, and you're greeted with the exact same experience as you have on computer. So I again want to reinforce that welcome you console guys, welcome you people loving the consoles and playing a game like that. I'm, I'm not sure why you would, but hey, here you are, okay? I still stand by what I said. If you have a mouse and a keyboard, make sure to plug it in and just use that because it will level up your experience quite significantly. But I think if you would go into percentage, um, like, I think the realization of the controller controls are like in the 98% of perfection. Like, there are, there are tiny, tiny things I guess that would be cooler, like the camera modes in some situations are a little bit odd because they work as they intended to be, but the, sometimes you just need to press one times too often to get to something, but that's just a tiny bit. As soon as you know it, you will just double click and then boom, you are there. So that is not really like, you know, but there are like, like very tiny little things in which sometimes the logic is not a 100% cohesive uh, or coherent but other than that everything like the way the menus work the way the logic works the, the, the way everything works is really absolutely fantastic i i got to say i'm still amazed uh, by by how well that is and i also checked my other videos of planet coaster console version and they still they again did fix a couple of issues they had on the console version of planet coaster um they made them even better in this game now specifically when it comes to some uh, movements with the camera and camera options uh, so you will also have the same camera options as on computer by the way um there is obviously uh, exactly the same that you will have so it's I, I didn't find anything so far that you're missing out on so that is pretty much amazing I guess I yeah I, you can tell from from my commentary it's really really great but what you will do in this game a lot more often is potentially using a lot more blueprints blueprints will be your life your essential your everything because that is just what you need and you can tell from the um you know habitat i'm building over here you can really tell that i was using a couple of blueprints that i did myself and also some from the frontier um, prefabs that are in the game but as you can see from the time lapse i'm switching between menus and filters relatively quickly and i can tell you that it's only sped up by six times so that is the normal value i have from my computer speed builds as well so it's not that big of a difference you can, like for those of you who watch me way more often will notice that it is a little bit more um 
easy to watch because it's a tiny bit slower, but also obviously it helps that everything stays to the center of the cursor and is not going crazy around the screen because of having the mouse being freeform, you know? Um, but in general, like a lot of these options that the game offers you is, um, is basically the same. And so you really easily get up to speeds. And I assume when I'm going to re-record the first part of the tutorial, the tutorial may actually become a little bit shorter than the original would have been. Simply, you know, because I got used to some of the controls a bit better. Uh, so yeah, at the end of the day, I am very, very happy the way this turned out. And if you haven't decided yet if you should get it or not, and based this on the well, question marks you may have had about the controls and if it's going to be very playable and if you can construct something, I want to take this... I want to take this from you. I want to say, this is going to be good. You are going to have a great time. So grab the game and just enjoy. And I'm going to see you on the other side of the purchase. And we're going to have a blast in the tutorial. And you're going to create something absolutely magnificent. So yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be there. And I'm going to be very excited to see what you guys come up with. But until then, have a good time. And uh, keep your eyes on the channel. We are going to have a great time, time with the console version. Thank you so much. And goodbye.